Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this video you will learn how to visualize biplot for principal components using GG biplot function in R Studio. I shall use the banknote data set used in previous tutorial on principal component analysis. I would suggest first watch this video tutorial to understand data set and principal component analysis. In this tutorial I shall describe how to visualize PCs using GG biplot function and to interpret the biplot. It is often desirable to simultaneously visualize scores and loadings of the principal components. This can be accomplished with a biplot. The plot is called a biplot because it contains information on loadings and scores and not just because it plots two principal components against one another. Let's start how to display biplot using GG biplot function in R Studio. Clear all the objects, values, and windows or plots using remove, graphics.off and shell function. Copy the measurements from sample data set including the variable names. Use red.table function to read the data set. True for header argument will specify the data contains variable names. In file argument type clipboard to access the data that was copied earlier. This will create the data set in an object named as data. Use the head function to print the first six rows of the object data. Now let's carry out the principal component analysis. Load the stats package by using require function. I shall use prcomp function for principal component analysis. X argument specify the data set. In X argument you need to specify the variables to be used for principal components. True for center argument will ship the variables to be zero centered. False for scale argument will not scale the variables to have unit variance. Scaling is preferably done when you have variable measurements in different scales. In this data set all the variables were measured in same units so I shall use non-scaled data for PCA. Print function for PC object will display the information of standard deviation and loadings. From standard deviation we can see that most of the variation in data set is expressed by the first two PCs. In loadings you can see that the diagonal and bottom variables are the most important contributors to the first PC. Second PC is best explained by the top variable and sum of bottom and diagonal variables. Use summary function to print variance related measures of components. Here you can see that 88% of the total variation in the data set is expressed by the first two PCs. Now let's display the variance explained by the PCs using GG biplot function. Load the library devtools using library function. To install GG biplot package use install getup function. After installation is completed load the GG biplot package using require function. To display the biplot for the first two principal components use biplot function for PC object created earlier. First component explains 67% of the variability in the data set. Second component explains 21% of total variability in the data set. The scales for the loadings are shown at the bottom and left axis for PC1 and PC2 respectively. Let's customize this graph to enhance the visualization. In GG biplot function we can use different arguments to enhance its visualization. PC object argument specify PC object created earlier. In choices you can specify the principal components to be used. I am using same scale factor to apply to observation and variables. Let's apply these arguments first. You can specify your own labels for data points in plot by using labels argument. I shall use row names as labels for data points. Here the first cluster of hundred values represent the genuine bank notes. The second cluster from 100 to 200 values represent the counterfeit bank notes. Let's resize the variable names using variable name size argument. You can shorten the length of variable names by using abbreviate variable name argument. True for this argument will abbreviate the variable names. Typing false for variable axis will remove the arrows. As I want to show the arrow so I shall keep this argument as true. To draw a correlation circle specify true for circle argument. 
This argument should only be used when scale argument is specified as true in PR comp function. To draw a normal ellipse for each group set true for ellipse argument. Also specify the group variable in groups argument. Use print function to plot this object. Add title to this plot by using labs function. In title argument type the main title of the plot. For color argument type the title of the legend to be used. Print function for this object will display main title and legend title on the plot. You can specify different themes to the plot. I shall use the classic dark on light gg plot theme. Use print function to apply the specified theme for this object. Legend is located at right side of the plot. You can change the position of legend by using theme function. Set bottom for legend position argument to display the legend in the bottom area of the plot. Now I shall briefly explain the biplot. The graph shows that the objects are displayed as points or row names. The variables are displayed as vectors or arrows. Data points or sample identifiers represent the scores. The scores are in deviation from their average for each of the variables. The origin represents the average value, both for each variable and for each object across all variables. This average has a value of zero in the centered data matrix. The arrows contains the information on loadings or it represent the variable vectors. The length of the variable vectors indicate how well the variables are represented by the graph, with a perfect fit if all vectors have equal lengths. The length of arrows in the plot are directly proportional to the variability included in the two components. For example a very short arrow in this biplot represent the length variable. It indicates the first two components contains almost no information about this element. The angle between any two arrows represent the correlation between those variables. If the angle between two variable vectors is zero then it shows both variables or collinear. It means both variable vectors lie on same line in same direction. If the angle between two variable vectors is 90 degrees then it shows both variable vectors are orthogonal. It means both variables show lack of correlation. The smaller the acute angle the stronger the positive correlation will be between the two variables. If the angle between two variable vectors is 180 degrees then it shows both variables are collinear. It means both variable vectors lie on same line but in opposite direction. The variables having greater obtuse angle are negatively correlated. Let's have a look at correlation matrix of the numerical variables. The acute angle between left and right variable is smaller so the correlation between these two variables is strongly positive. The obtuse angle between bottom and diagonal variable indicates slightly strong negative correlation between these two variables. Now let's have a look at the length of the variable vectors. As most of the variation is explained by the bottom, diagonal and top variables due to greater length of variable vectors. To compute variance for these variables first attach the database to access variables by simply giving their names. We can compute the variance for bottom, diagonal and top variables using variance function. The higher variation in bottom variable is indicated by the greater length of bottom variable vector. The bottom and diagonal variables are the most important contributors to the first PC. Second PC is best explained by the top variable and sum of bottom and diagonal variables. I hope this video will help you to understand how to display biplot for principal component analysis using our program. Please comment below if you have any questions.